Good evening, everyone. Today is 9-27-2013, about 9.30 at night. A little bit of a late night, actually. I'm pretty beat. Um, Isabel had, uh, she danced at the Juan Diego's halftime show, their football halftime show. She was in a little, like, 80s. She had her, like, ponytail to the side and, like, a pink shirt and all that stuff. So she just, like, ran around and danced. It was so fun. Um, but, yeah, we just got back from that, so just got her to bed a little bit late. But, yeah, it was pretty, pretty cool. Um, I talked with Isaac Jones from the Brotherhood. Holy cow, that guy is awesome. He's a, uh, hi, Isaac, if you watch this, but he's a chiropractor, but has followed a lot of, like, um, the, the he's really into health and wellness and um, kind of like the, the Robert, like the PH miracle. He's a, a, a big proponent of uh, cancer as a mel metabolic disease. So you, you really, he's really able to help uh, enlighten me, I suppose, in um, a lot of a lot of things that I'm I'm doing right now, and also kind of help me, you know, clarify why I'm doing the things I'm doing. So it was really, it was really good to get someone in that arena that's, you know, kind of there to support me and help me, you know, through these things. And it, it, it was funny because a lot of the things he was saying is like, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that from multiple places. So I think it was, it was really, he, he, I think he finally like kicked off that like, okay, I got to do this. Like, you know, he was, his passion for it and the, and the, you know, just the, the true wanting to give. Like, he, we talked for like an hour and a half um, with you know and it was just all about you know the, the best practices and everything like that and you know he's a he's a certified you know MD in chiropractic so like to take that time on and everything was just really really awesome really inspiring to see someone that cared that much about the health and that's where it's just like all my guards were down so I'm like if you care this much like you've got to be telling me the right or, or at least what you believe is right you know and so it was really awesome I'm you know I'm really excited and kind of re-fired up to you know, kind of re-examine what I'm doing, and, and you know, I, like I said, I, I don't know that I'm right all the time, you know, and if I can find smarter people that can help me, then I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, so, um, other than that, pretty good day, I, I actually, my meditation this morning, I did a lot on, like, focusing on anger and rage and stuff like that, um, just more to figure out where those feelings are, like, I don't, I don't really get angry, like, at all, like, and I don't, I don't ever, I could never, ex I, I, I know I can never say I've experienced rage or fury or something like that. Um, so a lot of that I was trying to connect with my masculine side, and that was the first thing that came up. Was like you know, maybe like more masculine, like anger and stuff like that. So I was trying to meditate on that actually most of the morning, um, and it was it was enlightening. Like I don't think I didn't get a lot of those feelings, but there was some definite times where I could kind of I could feel them come up, and I you know was kind of just examining them as they were coming out. So it was really, really kind of a cool, cool meditation this morning. I went by, you know, swimmingly, so that was awesome. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm kind of tired, so <laughs> hope everyone's doing well. You know, make sure to just one one step in front of the other. You know, that was kind of the thing with Isaac is, you know, looking at, at some of the things that I, I currently do and things I want to, you know, add in, such as, you know, the what is it, the grain, taking out like gluten and stuff like that. Um, I, I, it's just those step-by-step -step decisions, you know, and I, 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 you know, I definitely want to become gluten-free and, and off of the grains and stuff like that just because of the health reasons. Um, but instead of saying, like, I'm just going to cold turkey it, I look at it saying, well, I'll just make the decision when it comes up and I'll just do that once and then the next time when it comes up I'll just make that decision again and you know I'll give myself absolute freedom to make that decision at every single point of the way because um, then I don't feel trapped and then it's not me holding myself to some crazy expectation that I don't know it's just me being human and moving forward so you know I hope that helps you guys keep going forward we'll talk to y'all later peace